Well, more changes for the property management industry yesterday. The Victorian government has announced the extension on the moratorium laws. The eviction and rent freeze was due to end on the 29th of September, but Consumer Affairs Victoria have announced yesterday that this will now be in place until the 31st of December, 2020. They have also announced for both residential and commercial landlords and tenants, an increase of the land tax discount from the current 25% to 50% for landlords who provide a 50% reduction in rent for a minimum of three months to tenants who are suffering hardship due to COVID. Honestly, this is not really a help to landlords at all and more of a token gesture. I'm wondering when the government is going to dish out some help to landlords who are also suffering through this pandemic with their own issues and also the issues of their tenants. Many owners of apartments don't pay land tax or just a minimal amount. So how does that help them when their tenant in their, for example, $500 per week apartment wants a reduction to $250 per week, yet they can only get 50% of their land tax bill of approximately $600. This would be a $2,700 out of pocket for this example, where a property in a property where the rent is far lower than the running costs already. Further to help tenants through, is an extension of the Rent Relief Grant Program to the 31st of December 2020, increasing the maximum grant amount to $3,000 for new applications and allowing previous recipients to receive up to an additional $1,000. There are certain criteria that the tenants must meet to be eligible for this grant and one of them is that the landlord must have already entered into an agreement to reduce their rent. Again, help for the tenants but nothing for the landlord. And the Residential Tenancies Dispute Resolution Scheme, that's a mouthful, will also be further extended until the 31st of December 2020. Consumer Affairs Victoria are encouraging landlords to revisit their previous agreements, if any, in light of the new arrangements. So yes, again, they want the landlord to help. But again, no real help given to them for providing the needed accommodation. I hope you are surviving through this pandemic okay, and if you're in Melbourne, like me, this stage four lockdown. The light of the tunnel is nearly there with midnight, 13th of September fast approaching. So hopefully we can get our numbers down so it's not extended. Stay tuned on that one. I've popped a link in the message of this video for more information and please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you'd like to discuss this further and how it might impact upon you and your investment property. We are here to help ease the burden and the worry for you. Stay safe.